Situation in Manipur Valley areas remain tense as protest marches have been reported in several areas on Wednesday. There were also reports of heavy scuffle between security forces and protesters in several places. A large number of students along with women protesters came towards heavily guarded Kangla roads leading to Rajpavan and Chief Minister's bungalow around 2.30 p.m. The security forces, however, fired several rounds of tear gas shells and mock bombs do in a bit to disperse the crowd. The involvement of student protesters made it more difficult for security forces to control the situation. Even though the state government has already declared a two-day holiday, students, mostly college goers, turned up at their respective institutions and joined the agitation. Speaking to Hornbill TV, students said they cannot remain as mere spectators when two students lost their lives. Meanwhile, CBI director arrived at Imphal International Airport at around 3 p.m. The CBI team was called by the state government to look into the case of the two missing students who are believed to be killed. The CBI team, however, refused to give any comments. Till the time of filing the report, sounds of tear gas shells and mock bombs could still be heard in places like Singjamai, Kakwa and Moirangkom in Imphal West District. On the other hand, an air raid mob burnt down the BJP Mandal office situated at Thobal District. A large crowd tried to storm the Bharatiya Janata Party's headquarters situated at Gaysampat. However, security forces were successful in driving away the air raid mob. Several students and other protesters got injured on Wednesday. The main market closed down around noon. Even though there is no official holiday, most private institutions remained closed in the capital, Imphal. Thank you. 